And a very good morning to you. This is the Business Breakfast, by I 103.8, and uh, Malcolm Brandy and Richard. And Ben Apple is a Dubai-based software platform that proclaims on its website homepage free HR cloud software for all your HR admin needs. And they just snared a big name from Silicon Valley to be their chief technology officer, Heather Wild, joining us in the studio. Good morning. Good morning. Well, thanks very much indeed um, to for joining us this morning. Um, what did uh, Ben Apple have to offer you apart from a trendily unpronounceable name to try and snare you and entice you from the bright lights of Silicon Valley to join a smallish Dubai based company? Well, one of the things that they dangled in front of me was the opportunity to come work in Dubai. And uh, for somebody from Silicon Valley being able to come and, and be here and look around and see innovation in every corner that's that's the dream but you but you live in las vegas actually uh which of course has enough bright lights of its own and presumably has a similar sort of mentality to dubai it, it actually does uh, vegas is a very entrepreneurial city but if you look at uh a- after coming back to vegas after having been in dubai for the first time i realized how small there the buildings are everything in dubai is so much larger, the, and the scale is bigger than anything you could possibly imagine. But you've got, you're from New York, you've got scale in New York. Nothing like there is really? here. Do you feel that, honestly? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I mean, you were group director of Evernote, the cross-platform productivity outlet, out, uh, uh, sorry, the app that shouts on its homepage, organize your work and declutter your life. I was wondering whether or not this move to Dubai might be part of uncluttering your life. Actually, uh, years ago, I, when I was working for Evernote, I lived on a sailboat, so I've decluttered my life long, long ago, and uh, I, I have no problem with, with clutter. Talk to us about, about the company that you are joining here. It's a free HR software platform. If it's free, what's the business model? How do, do you get paid? How does everyone else in the chain get paid? So the beginning of Benepal is that uh, you have a uh, company that needs help uh, with your HR. And when you come in, we are trying to, to give you HR access with admin and leave and all of those management things that a company needs. And then once you're in, then we as a, as a company can then uh, offer you other services, such as uh, um, benefits management and uh, investment platforms for the company to, like, gratuity and things like that. Right, so the platform is free, but there are, as with an app, there are in-app purchases yes. that, you could, that you could make. Why were you looking for a job in the first place? I mean, I've been going through your Twitter, I've been going through your LinkedIn. You are busy, you're a columnist, you're a, a writer, you've got a number of companies that you're involved in, mentoring, training, consulting with small businesses and, and startups. I wouldn't have thought your CV was doing the rounds. <laughs> um, it, it wasn't exactly doing the rounds, um, uh, but I always say that it's when you're not looking that the best opportunities show up. And it's if, if there's something that's complementary to the things that I'm currently doing, then I, I'll always be willing to take a look. And Benepal fits right in with the other uh, things that are in my portfolio right now. Because you've got a very varied past. I mean, I, I, it says in your bio that you joined NASA at 15. I'm presuming that wasn't as a scientist, more as a sort of student placement for a summer. Uh, well, I was, I was studying to become an astronaut, and that was the beginning of the internship to get me on the way to become an astronaut. And uh, so at, at 16, uh, I started the, the training. And How far did you go? Uh, I got to the point where they told me I couldn't go into space uh, because of a, a brain issue that I have. Wow. But uh, then, then I got transferred to uh, to D- uh, Washington D.C. to work on satellites with the Naval Research Labs. So that was pretty cool. Very cool. I mean, just to go back to Brandy's point just a second ago about sort of you know the the entrance to the uh, the app here being free. We've heard the uh, head of a uh, an ISP locally here, a phone company, saying that the internet will be free in the not too distant future. I mean, you know, if you're giving away your basic software for free, I know you've got the in-app purchase side of it, but how does anyone make money in the future if everything's free? Um, 
in the future, uh, uh, are you asking me about every company? Well, I don't know. I mean, it just we, we're seeing a sort of move to, to more things. You know, this <coughs> idea of the internet being free. You know, uh, the, the basic form of Ben Apple is free. Mm-hmm. Um, it makes it tough to make money. Actually, I, I, that's, that's not necessarily the case. Other companies, like Evernote, for example, have shown that uh, you can make a lot of money uh, with only a few people paying for those in-app purchases. Uh, and companies are, are willing to pay for the things that they care about, such as even just adding their own logo to, to an application is, is something that people are willing to pay for. So if, if something is good enough that they want to use it, then there's, there's reasons that they'll pay. Um, but even when we move to an automated society where robots are the workers, we'll find a way to, to charge for something. And people, people are going to make money no matter what. Evernote has done in its own sort of small way what Amazon has has done in a much bigger way with Whole Foods in terms of putting tentacles out there into the real world. I mean, Evernote has its big tie-up with Moleskine. Um, so it's got its digital note-taking and it's also tied up with a physical <laughs> note-taker. Talk to us about that hybrid, which we're seeing more and more at the moment. So when you've got uh, online moving to offline, it's it's really a very interesting thing because... So many companies are just starting to do that. They're starting to use heat mapping within stores so that you can know what customers are about to buy. Uh, You are starting to see the whole Internet of Things exploding, uh, where every year information is doubling at uh, the rate, uh, doubling from the rate that it has before. And that's because... Uh, everything that we do is connected, so uh, connected to the internet. So we have, um, like, w- like with the Moleskine application, people are are writing notes, but then they're getting online, and then we can do analysis on the data. And that's so important because if we don't connect our our online world to our offline world, then all we'll be doing is is living one or the other, and that's not what the world is now. What do you want to do in this space, in the UAE tech space? What do you want to bring here from your your Silicon Valley experience? What do you think you can add? Well, one of the things that I've noticed is that while Dubai has a huge eye for innovation, that they seem to want uh, a lot of innovation here, there aren't people that have the experience and the knowledge yet, uh, or there aren't a lot of people here that have the experience and the knowledge yet to help build that infrastructure so it's it's kind of the city and the dream and the the intention is here but you need people to help you get there and and my intention is is to help people to to help Benable to to get to that le- next level what do you actually want to do with the company I mean it's a two-year-old company at the moment it's part of the the blue sky thinking group Danielle Suchley the the MD sort of a friend of the show we've had her on before where do you want to take it Oh well, I've uh, I just recently finished uh, getting the next couple year roadmap together, and uh, we have a lot of really cool things planned. It's it's it, there are so many interesting things that we put together, like uh, being able to connect to your uh, Facebook Messenger, for example, so that you don't even have to log into an app. Uh, to to check to do your leave management to to connect to wherever you are so that you can have if you're an HR manager to be able to automate everything that you do with things like that. Let me ask you about a bit of a, a question about Americans uh, and America at the moment. Do you think that um, what's happening in America at the moment is making Americans more mobile? That we're likely to see more uh, Americans looking for jobs elsewhere around the world. Um, I still think that only about. Ten percent of Americans are are travelers. Uh, that's that's a statistic that's been pretty standard, and I I believe that if anything, more Americans are becoming more insular um, and don't want to travel. So the ones that are travelers are traveling, and the ones that aren't aren't. Well, listen, we really appreciate you uh, joining us this morning, and good luck with your new career at Ben Apple here in Dubai. Heather Wild, the CTO of Ben Apple, we do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me.